Hey guys, Shock here from Shocky Tech, and in today's video, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be talking about One UI 5.0 versus One UI 4.0. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys all the differences between the two versions. Now, both of these phones are Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultras. You can see this one is running One UI 5.0, and this one is running 4.1 Android 12, Android 13. So let's dive in and get started right away and see exactly what is different. Now the first thing that is actually different is right here. So if I go back to the main menu here, you can see that we can now see an image of the actual phone under the about phone section. Over here, it just gives the name of the phone, but no image of the phone. And also, while it gives you the image, it showcases the same color of the actual phone that you own. So this phone is a burgundy phone, so it is showing a Burgundy S22 Ultra. Minor but cool change. We also have a hidden Wi-Fi menu. So if I go to connections over here, okay, and if I were to go into Wi-Fi, tap, tap. If you tap over here, you are gonna see that we have this intelligent Wi-Fi option that I can go inside. And then if I scroll down and tap on intelligent Wi-Fi several times, activates another menu that shows up right at the bottom here. I can tap on the Wi-Fi options and my favorite option inside here is this one. I can tap on connection information or nearby Wi-Fi information and get some cool details. Now I cannot do the same thing on this guy. Now this may not mean anything to you but it gives you some really useful data at the bottom right over here that might be useful in certain scenarios, okay? So that's something new on One UI 5.0. Now also if I go to my gallery, let me just show you something here. Here's a photo of a book, okay? And the same thing right here, same exact book. Now what we have is I tap here, you are gonna see that we have a brand new text extraction feature that shows up here. Now, now this phone has it too, but you have to go to Bixby Vision and do the whole process. Now it just shows up as a T. If it detects that there's text, tap it. It highlights all the text, then you can copy or select a particular portion of that text. You can do this with anything. Take a photo of a whiteboard in a classroom and just extract the text from a book, from a menu, whatever. Also, if you want, you can just press and hold on the image and you can extract the text just like that. Now, one more great feature I'd really love is, again, if you go to your gallery, let me just uh, go to my gallery here. And let's say you want to do some markup on your photos. You tap on edit and you go into, let me update this. So that's updated. So I'm going to tap on settings. Let's do some markup here. So I'm going to go to the smiley face here. Okay. And then you pick a pen and let's say you draw something here just like this. The problem is when you draw that and let it go, it just, the markup just looks nasty because it's just your uh, handwriting. Or even if you use a pen, it's not going to be perfect, the S pen. Now look at what you can do. You go to Smiley, and let's say you draw a circle to highlight something. You press and hold, and it turns into a perfect circle. That's the way I like it. And of course, you can change the pen as you please. So if you went like this, look at this. Perfect. Cannot do that here. If I you know, just keep holding it, nothing happens. Don't like that. Love this. Now I can create perfect markups. All right? Now going to the settings, there are some changes that you need to be aware of because they're actually very important. They have moved some items around. So first you can see here we have connections on 4.0. Over here we have connections and connected devices. When I click on the connected devices, you quickly see everything that has to do with sharing, connecting devices, or some advanced features are gonna show up right here. Samsung DeX is going to be right here, SmartThings, Android Auto, if you go inside, you can modify that. Uh, Samsung DeX, like I said, is going to be in here. All your quick share settings are going to be right here. So, so quick share is the way to share files ultra fast between two Samsung smartphones. And all these features are going to be right here under connected devices. Now, I'm going to show you guys, if I go back to the 4.0 and go to advanced features, you're going to see that some of these guys are actually right here. Link to Windows, Link to Windows, Samsung DeX, Samsung DeX, Android Auto, Android Auto. But now 
they have been removed from the advanced features. If I go back to the advanced features here, you're not gonna see it. So the advanced features here has been trimmed down and most of this stuff right here has moved to connected devices uh, on the outside. And then if I go into the camera, there's a couple changes in the camera. So if I launch the camera and if I go to more, and if I go into pro photo or pro video mode, it actually is a little bit more user friendly now. Basically, let's say you tapped on the ISO here. Now, if you're a photographer, you know what ISO is. You know what the speed stands for. You know what the focus, the white balance, and all that stuff is. But if you're not a photographer, it might be a little intimidating to see what this is. But you still get curious because it is a mode, and it looks cool, and you want to use it. Now, with One UI 5.0, when you tap any one of these guys, you get a little eye message here. That means information. You can tap it and get information as to exactly what that particular option is going to do for you. So speed, it shows up right there. That's the shutter speed. That is the exposure controls. That's the auto manual focus. But as soon as you tap the E, you get the details. So if you were interested in this mode, you can actually learn by reading this and then maybe doing a little bit more research on the internet. One more thing, if you go to the settings, Mostly the settings are the same as you can see, except we have a brand new feature that is right here. It's the watermark feature. So when you take a photo, you can have a custom watermark on that photo. Now in my case, I can even have it S22 Ultra camera, right? Just an example. So that shows how it's gonna show up on the actual photo. You can have date and time added to that. You can change the font. Okay, and you can change the alignment. So now when I go back out and take a photo, let me just go back to regular mode here, take a photo, and if I go into that photo, let me just tap here preview, you're gonna see that we have at the bottom my signature, the date and time, and all the stuff that I want in there. So that is fantastic. Now if I were to go to notifications, there are some changes to notifications. You can see first and foremost, it looks a little bit different. Uh, the notification pop-up style is now inside a menu. If you click it, you can access it. That's going to be slightly different, as you can see. But if I go back, here's a big change. You now have this new option that looks like app notifications. Let me just tap here. App notifications. So you can see the apps over here. But now when you tap on it, you have some extension to the type of notifications you can allow for an, any given app. So if I were to go to Amazon shopping application, you now have these three options you can enable or disable for that particular app. You don't have that option here. This is all you get to see, okay? Based on the application, I can have notifications on the lock screen allowed or not allowed, badge notifications allowed or not allowed, and pop-up notifications allowed or not allowed, as you can see, all right? Just so you know. So that's also a new change on One UI 5.0. Now we also have some visual changes. So if I press and hold, for example, and go to wallpaper, I'm sure you've seen this already, but I'm gonna show it to you real quick. So if I go over here, look, this is the home screen. This is the lock screen. I'm sorry, this is the lock screen. This is the home screen, same over here. Now on 4.0, when I tap on this, all I, can, all I get to see is a quick preview. On this one, when I tap it, I can change the entire lock screen right from here. Tap on the clock, you know, pick different styles of clock, change the icon type, as you can see, and of course, change the color based on your needs, okay? And again, any color that you want, no problem. So that's great that you can do it from here. You can also change the shortcuts over here. You have two shortcuts at the bottom. You have them here too, but you cannot edit them. Here, if I tap it, I can actually edit the shortcut, pick something else. And over here, I can tap this guy and I can either show details for the notifications, icons only, and all that good stuff, and even add a signature. And let me go back, tap on colors, and I can pick different colors based on my wallpaper, as you can see, alrighty? So that's great, you can make the changes right from here. And if you were to go back over here, tap on this guy, that's gonna be the same situation. Okay, no difference when it comes to the home screen preview here. Now, additionally, if I go into color palette right here, 
you can see we have wallpapers, colors, and basic colors. And there are many more. So look, one, two, three, four. Then I got five and six. Now with this one, all I have is one, two, three, four. So again, more customization over here. We also have improved multitasking. So look at this. Let me just go over here, launch some app. If I were to press the recent screen, okay, look at this. If I press and hold, I cannot drag this to the, I can drag to the middle, but I cannot drag it to the bottom. If I drag to the middle, it just opens up as a pop-up view. Uh, let me just uh, X this out, relaunch it. But if I drag it down, it launches as a full screen app. Now I can grab, drag it down, and start multitasking. Or I can bring it to the center and do a pop-up. But this is the, the cool part. So boom. Uh, let's see. Boom. Multitasking just like that from the Recents app menu. Now inside the settings, there's also another change. You can see that we now have we now have the modes and routines option right over here, which is on top of the sounds and vibration. When you go inside, what you have is you have a bunch of modes you can activate and customize based on what you're doing. And Bixby routines have also moved right here. So again, previously Bixby routines was in the advanced features as well. So if I go down here, it's gonna be right here, Bixby routines. So this routine screen is now aggregated right here, right in front of you. It's a bunch of automation systems you can use to make your phone smarter, but it does it automatically after you set it up. Now, again, if I were to go to advanced features, you're gonna see that the Bixby routines have been removed from advanced features, okay? And it's out there under modes and routines. So modes is brand new. If you go over here, you get access to modes. So if you were to go driving, you tap on driving, you make the modifications you want to that particular mode, and right before driving, you can turn that mode on. Or you can have the phone automatically activate the mode when you enter your car. All that stuff is doable, and you can create different modes, as you can see, and even make your own mode. Also, when it comes to widgets, there's some improvements. So if I were to pinch the screen or, or press and hold, go into my widgets right over here, we do have the smart smart suggestions widget that we don't have on the 4.0. So we have the smart widget, but not the smart suggestions. So tap on this guy, press and hold, drag and drop. So basically, based on how you use your phone, you're going to get these widgets here that change dynamically. Again, based on your on your use, we don't have that right here. Also, when you go to your settings, there's some changes to the device care all the way at the bottom. If I go into uh, battery and device care, battery and device care, first and foremost, we have a brand new auto optimization mode and also a maintenance mode. This one is designed so when you give your phone away to a service center, you activate this. You turn on so they cannot access your photos or any private information but they can still repair your phone. So that's great. And then we have the auto optimization, which is gonna restart your phone as required and also optimize it as required to keep it running smooth. Alrighty, on this one, we have the similar thing. It's called automation, but it's actually a little bit different. This is more automated. So just enable it and you're good to go. With this one, you have to go in there and make modifications. With this one, just one button function. All right, does the same exact thing. So those are many of the changes that have happened with One UI 5.0. Many of them great to have, but if you do stick to One UI 4.0, it's not like you're at a big loss, but it's always nice to have the latest when it's available. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.